rolling. We're, we're, we're rolling. I can't believe. Look, I, I got to start while we're talking. This is how engrossed I am right now, guys. I am with Third World. That's like, I can't even speak. Like I told you guys, we're here at Miami Broward Carnival, but I have to let them introduce themselves, guys. This is major, best of the best. Please. That's very sweet of you. I'm Richard Daly, Third World Band since 1973. Yeah, and I'm Cat Core, and I totally understand that you've been doing a lot of work, and you need me to introduce myself. No, I don't need you to introduce yourself because I've been doing a lot of work. I think it just sounds better coming off of your mouth, right? Like it just sounds better. See what? Say it again. Say your name. Yeah, I'm Cat Core. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. See what? That's no big thing. Oh, it's not a big thing. By the way. <laughs> No, I know I'm working with a top professional. <laughs> you know, we try here I know, on Saint to Saint. Right now, so. Love you, love you. <laughs> oh my God, guys. Yeah, I, I am really, really enthused blow. to be next to you guys. You guys have an amazing career from being top musicians, the, your music that you guys play. Right now, really quick, because the interviews can't be long, right? Yeah. I need you guys to tell the people out there just a little bit about your journey and something to inspire them to get where you are. Well, to be honest, you know, our journey has a lot to do with the Caribbean in terms of the fact that when we were, you know, a lot younger, um, which was a special time for us, you know, um, we, we, you know, we did things that we didn't expect would happen. I mean, I never expected that we would go to Guyana and play, you know, at the cricket stadium and that they would have to bring men on horses wow. to keep the people out. I'm telling you. You know, men riding horses in the party. Yeah, so we how, went how, through wait, that. I, I don't want to cut you out, but how did that feel? You're very, you, for you to speak about that, I know it had to be something memorable. Something, how did that feel, that moment? No, it felt great. I mean, it felt great to be in Guyana for the first time and to, to understand that the Guyanese people, not just the dreadlocks brethren, but the people we're so in love with our album, 96 Degrees in the Shade. Mm. It was very special for us. And of course, we moved on from there and we did, you know, Barbados and stuff. But, I mean, to be honest with you, we have to have been in Guyana when we heard that Now That We Found Love was going on to the British Shards. Yes. And from that point on, things changed for us. But the Caribbean has always been our heart, our soul, our love. And between me and you, that's how we eat food more time when we're hungry. <laughs> so, Mr. Day there. <laughs> this is the perfect place to eat food, too, Miami Broward Carnival. Would you say? Yeah, yes. of I, course. I, I, take, that's, that's for you. The carnival? Oh, let me hold it for him. No, no, no. I'm giving you my oh, okay. no, no, no. <laughs> Yeah, look, we came here as patrons today, not as oh. performers. And, and, you know, very seldom we get this kind of. Oh, we're so feedback, humble. You know? And so. For you to just pull us here and to talk to us. Of course. Privilege. It's privilege. inspiration. Of course. Yeah, it is. no, seriously, it's, it's definitely you inspiration. Know. And we're working on a brand new album right now, which will be out sometime next year when our producer is Damon Marley. Oh, wait, what? Yeah. I didn't hear you. I say it again. Okay. We're working on a brand new album, which will re release in 2017. And so it's you say a brand new, brand new album? Yes. 2017. Yes. And what else? Produced by. Oh. You're translating? No, I'm sorry. All right, that's okay. <laughs> um, by Damien Marley. Mm. Mr. Marley, last son. Mm. You know, and um, we're very happy about this. You know, and it, we're, we're so pleased with what's coming out. And we know third world fr um, family and friends will be quite impressed with what's I, coming out. I can't, I can't wait. Yes. I'm not even going to lie. I really, I really can't wait. I, you know, I do want to say something really quick. I know you, is it both of you that play different instruments? Uh, multiple instruments? No, he or is a multi. He's a multi. Yeah, him. That's Can it. you just name some of the instruments so that the kids know that it's not just drums and pianos? Don't leave out that card in either. Yes, don't leave out. <laughs> yes, so that they can inspire. Yes, aspire to know that they can actually do something different. <laughs> no, well, I mean, basically speaking, mm. what I would say to most of the kids is that if you want to play multiple instruments, the best thing you do is to learn the music from scratch learn the scales, learn where the thing is organized, how the whole thing goes. And it has tempo, which is mathematical, you know what I mean? Mm. The one is one, two, the two is, the, and it keeps going down. That's the mathematical side. And then you have the scale side, which is the musical notes. Uh, uh, uh. 
so, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. So at the same time, I'm just saying that because I happen to be, and Richie too, have to be people in our generation. You had to learn that, whether you went to music school or you're just trying to pick up the guitar or whatever, you have to mm. learn that stuff. They need to learn that too. The young kids now. Don't just learn, you know, how it sounds to be Drake or how it sounds to be this one, because you can call you on yourself or anytime. Oh, you, you understand? But when somebody says play a D minor scale, mm -hmm. you could have called them on your cell phone to the phone. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know the scale, it's <laughs> it don't, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm saying that at the end of the day. It's not about the multiple instruments, it's about actually yeah. learning the music. No, no, no. I wasn't going there. Oh, what oh. I was going to say to you is that the only reason why I can play more instruments at one, and between me and you, not even that great still, because I can go around the drum kit and play too. Mm. But the only reason I can do that is because I learned the very basics. Ah. I learned the mathematical side and I learned yeah, mm -hmm. the fundamentals. Mm -hmm. And if kids learn that, then that's how you do the thing. That's why Stevie Wonder, the greatest of all time, can do all the things he did. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can play drums too, you know. Yeah. Stevie stop playing now. Harmonica no. and keyboards is where he's really at now. But if he goes around the drum kit, he's bad too. So I'm just saying that kids, if you want to learn a music thing, learn it right from the start. Learn your notes, learn your timing, learn everything. All right, guys, we don't have much time left. Third world, guys. Please, anything you can say right now as we leave to inspire the young kids out here, to inspire the adults even, yeah, it's your turn. Yes. To inspire them to just continue and not give up. All right. Music is just more than making beats, you know what I mean? So you can't get your computer, your laptop, and you start make a beat, and within five minutes you have something sound like it playing on the radio. But then, well, you limit yourself if you can just stay into that arena alone. As Mr. Core said, learn the fundamentals so you can expand. Learn all, listen to all genres of music, and familiarize yourself with composers from the past, and learn from them, because you're going to have to teach somebody someday. You have, you, make sure you inspire someone, the next generation behind you inspire them as well like how you were inspired by maybe i love it whatever i love it each one teach one guys learn That's your that. fundamentals you'll go far all right any social media or websites go ahead and give them a shout out yeah I don't know show to know to, so. your website oh yeah okay <laughs> all right folks so i'm cat Cook from third world i want you to make sure you stay tuned to the johnny tiger show Woo. are you also stay tuned to third world band dot com and third world band on facebook yeah just follow us on twitter follow us all over instagram all in me social media places and look out for the album coming love you there it is guys all right time to go eat some food i'll be back uh-oh <laughs>